everybody. Welcome back. So we want to do a little bit of an educational piece today, and it's all about recovering from a spin in an aircraft. Now, obviously, I'm in a high-performance aerobatic aircraft, which is a perfect aircraft for me to show it to you. But more important, we're going to show you the things not to do, and there's a progression you need to go through. So let's go ahead and dive into that. talk about uh, recovery procedures specifically when you're in a spin there's an acronym that we typically use it's called P-A-R-E PAIR that stands for P is power so you're going to go power to idle A the ailerons are neutral and in my case the stick will be back but the ailerons go to neutral you're going to go rudder opposite so rudder into the spin if we're spinning left rudder to the right rudder into the spin and then we're going to go elevator neutral or forward to kind of re and then we recover so P-A-R-E. Now, I just want to say it's really important that you do it in that progression. Power, elevator neutral, rudder into the spin, and then elevator forward and recover. If you don't, we'll show you what's going to happen. If, you, if you're in a spin and you go power, it's actually going to give you power, nose it up a little bit, and almost get you into a flat spin so it can get worse. Also, if you're in a spin and you try to use and you try, which is what everybody does, it's a natural instinct, you'll be in a spin, and you're automatically going to try to put your stick into the spin. It's going to accelerate the spin. You don't want to do that either. Just visualize it in your head. You're going to see what it looks like when we go into a spin, but visualize in your head in your own aircraft, well, what would that look like, and how would I deal with it? We'll get into a spin and recover, and then I'll talk through what we're doing as we're uh, doing that recovery. Now, obviously, we're here at a, a really good altitude, very safe. We check for our traffic in the area, no traffic on the scope here, and there's nothing around us. Check the cockpit, everything's good. We're secure, ready to go, seatbelts, harnesses. Now I'm gonna just first show you what a spin looks like, and then we're gonna just talk through it. So this could be like an approach where I'm getting to approach and my airspeed gets too slow, and then I go into a spin. Okay, so this is what the spin's gonna look like. There's the incipient sprays, now I'm in, I'm in a spin. So, power off, and then I recover. It's that simple. It's really a non-event if it's done right. And in some cases, it's actually fun. Now we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna talk through it again, but I also wanna show you how much altitude we can lose. And the reason this is important is because if you get into a spin like that, you, you need to take action pretty quickly because if you don't, the spin can get accelerated. But more importantly, if you're low to the ground, I know the first thing stick's gonna be to yank the yoke, and yank the stick, you gotta fly the plane. You gotta fly, let the plane get out of its spin by doing P-A-R-E. Again, we're gonna run up a little bit more of an altitude, and then we're gonna look at our altitude and see how much do we lose in two spins, two cycles. So it gets you a good feel here. We're currently at 6,000 feet. Let's go ahead and get into the spin. One. Two. Gonna recover. Neutral stick. And recover. And we almost about a little less than a thousand feet. Now, it could happen to be faster than that. It just tells you, and that's also why I'm very cautious in a plane, especially a plane like this. But if I'm in a 172 or something, below 2,000 feet, I am always on airspeed, altitude, airspeed, altitude. I'm always making sure my airspeed is good because I never want to get into that kind of scenario. Again, P A R E. Put that in your head. Think about it. Visualize what you do in your aircraft. So. P, power to idle, because we're nose down. A, aileron's gonna neutralize. R, rudder into the spin. Do not use your ailerons to go into the spin. You wanna rudder into the spin. Then we bring the ailerons a little bit forward, neutralize them, and then we recover with pitch and power. So we're gonna do one more of these and just kind of show you again what this looks like. We're gonna talk through it, okay? So let's get our airspeed into the configuration. So this would be like our almost like a power off stall scenario. So there we are, we're gonna go into the spin. Here we go. This is the first phase. Okay, so we're in the spin now, right? Power's off, so it's neutral. Into the spin. Ooh. Okay, so what I did there is I showed you what happens if you aileron into the spin. 
instead of rudder into the spin. You see how it accelerated that and we stalled the aircraft. So that gives you a little bit of feel why the progression is so important. All right, so that was the aileron. Now if I did it again and I put power in, you're gonna see the plane's gonna get into a little bit of a flat spin, which again, you definitely don't wanna do. So you gotta do it in the right sequence. All right, so we're up at a good safe altitude again. We're gonna get to our speed and this time, we are going to give it power, and we'll see what happens. All right, so there we go. All right, we're in a spin. What happens when I give it power? Whoa, see that? Let's rudder in, power off. And recover. So you see what happens when you power it up? It really exacerbated that spin. So check the area, we're good, get our altitude back, and by the way, we lost a lot more altitude on that one. We're going to do one last proper way to recover from this spin. Let's get our altitude back up. Okay, so now we're going to do the proper recovery, P-A-R-E, and show you exactly how it should look. Here we go. Okay, so we're getting into the spin. Okay, power back, aileron's neutral, rudder into the spin, get the elevator a little forward, and then we simply recover. There we go, less than a thousand feet. All right guys, so that is P-A-R-E. So now you know what it looks like, you know what to expect, you know what not to do. Now key notes on recovery as we wrap up. Act promptly, don't delay, because you know, if you delay, you may get into a fully developed spin, it's gonna increase the uh, spin. In some aircraft, certain aerobatic types, the procedure might be different. Power on recovery or hands-off method is possible. Now you saw what to do in the case of a spin. How to do it, what the procedures are. You gotta check your aircraft manual, your POH. Work with your instructor. Make sure you go through this with only a certified instructor that takes you through this. But even better, if you can go do some upside recovery training in an aircraft like this, that's definitely the way to go. Hopefully that gives you a little bit more information and insights on what a spin looks like and how to recover from it. All right, great. We'll see you on the next one.